Hi everybody. Welcome to another episode of Book Bites with Miss Lauren and Samantha. Hi. She's my daughter. Yes. And we are also joined by Coconut. Coconut the dinosaur. And I gave her a mohawk for some reason. I felt silly. And these very weird purple winter socks. Yes. Because it's summer. Why is Coconut wearing winter socks in summer? And she's not wearing any on her back legs. Because she's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But we hope that you are having a really great summer. We know it looks a little different than our normal summer, but with all these fun things that we're doing online, um, we hope that you're having fun with our summer reading program. And if you want more information on any of that, just visit us at www.myscpl.org slash summer 2020. Leave a comment, uh, give us a call, and we will help you with whatever we can. You two ready to get started? Yeah! All right, so today we are reading. <laughs> Stop it. Your, Your Personal, Personal Penguin, Penguin by Sandra Boynton. I like you a lot. You're funny and kind. So let me explain what I have in mind. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to walk right by your side. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to travel with you far and wide. Wherever you go, I'll go there too. Here and there and everywhere and always with you. I want to be your personal penguin from now on. Now, Lots of other penguins seem to do just fine in a universe of nothing but ice. But if I could be yours and you could be mine, our cozy little world would be twice as nice. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to talk with you night and day. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to listen to whatever you say. Look at these wings, so perfect to hold you. I'd like to say again, what I have already told you. Let me be your personal penguin. Imagine me your personal penguin. I want to be your personal penguin from now on. Please, please, please. That was Your Personal Penguin by Sandra Boynton. And I have my personal dinosaur. <laughs> Very true. All right, what is your joke today, Samantha? Oh, um, I need to think of something real quick. <laughs> okay. I didn't think about this. While she is thinking about a joke, let me just remind you that Sam and I will be back here every Monday morning with a new Sandra Boynton book fight and coconut will be here and if you have suggestions for costumes or things we might be able to do leave them in the comments okay. you ready you yeah. got one okay okay the person that had an apple had uh, three fruits a banana and a pear and what was the third fruit the person that had an apple had three fruits a banana a pear. And what was the other fruit? I don't know. 
An apple. It's an like, apple. It's like I should have been listening yeah. at the beginning. It's like oh, it was like a trick. Yeah, it's the obvious riddle, but you're trying to think about something not because it's it's like right. Most riddles aren't obvious. I gotcha. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank uh you. -huh.